Hello everybody, welcome to the Neal's Homestead. For the past two or three years, we have gone halves with an Amish family that lives near us and gotten half a hog from them two or three times over the winter season. The guy that owns the hog kills it and cuts it in half and we bring the half a hog home and we cut it up and butcher it ourselves and put it in our freezer or can it. And I've kept the fat back for the past couple of years because I wanted to make some lard and so it's time to get that lard going. I've gotten the fat out of the freezer. I did that yesterday evening so that it could thaw. Today I've got my grinder set up here ready to grind it up. I found that grinding it helps it to uh, cook up faster and I have less of a chance of scorching it and so that's what I prefer to do is grind it up instead of cutting it up into little chunks. So I'm in the process of cutting it up into sizes that will fit into my grinder and then I'll be grinding it up. So let's get started. I've got a big pan set here that I'm going to put the, the fat in as I cut it up. I've got my cutting board set here with a good size knife and we'll get going on cutting it up into sizable pieces. I've got this slab of fat sitting here, so I'll just cut it up into strips that are the size that I need for fitting down into the hole of my grinder. Some of this fat still has some meat pieces on it, so I think the first thing I'm going to do when I find those is slice that off because I don't really want meat in my lard. I don't want it to taste meaty. I just want it to be as pure fat as I can have. So I'll just toss those aside. I think I'm about halfway through with what I'm going to do here. Seems like it's taking quite a while to do it. If I had cleaned off all these little meat scraps better whenever I was butchering, but at the time it seemed like I just wanted to get the butchering done and be done with it. So I'm going to finish up this fat, cutting it in strips off camera because it's kind of a boring job and I'll catch you back on the other side. I'm down to my last piece of fat, uh, fat to cut up. It's been kind of a long tedious process and I still have to grind it but this part feels good to have this out of the way at least. Cut that little dab off. I've got this fat right here in the bowl with the meat scraps. When I first started doing this, I thought well, that might be kind of good if I stick that in a hot oven and kind of fry it down and eat it. But the longer I've stood here with my hands in this fat, the less appealing that sounds. So I think I'm probably going to throw it to the dog and the cat. The mama cat thinks she's hungry all the time, even though she eats and has a lot to eat. So I've got my big pan here ready to grind. So we'll move on over to the grinder. I've lined this crate with plastic and so I'm just going to let the ground fat come right into here to collect.
I got the fat grinding finished up. I think it's a good consistency and it ought to cook down well in my uh, pot that I'm going to use. Uh, I'm actually not going to cook this until tomorrow. Uh, today it's pretty windy and we're going to do it outside so I am going to set up where I'm going to cook it today and cook. my plan is to cook it tomorrow. I have to get it in a cool place for over the night and that won't be any problem and then now I have to try to clean up this greasy mess all over my grinder see it later the kettle's been just stored upside down on top of gravel for a long time so it had a lot of rust inside and we're cleaning it out with a sander power sander there <laughs> over to the wood chip pile area so that I can be ready to render the uh, lard in the mornings. I'll start in the morning and it'll probably take me quite a bit of the day. Mm -hmm. 